death is unavoidable but it is painful when it happens untimely. This video basically reviews Nigerian celebrities who are dead. Thank you to my returning subscribers for always watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please tap the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Handy like, comment, and share this video. First on the list was the Big Brother Niger former housemate, Rico Swaby. The Big Brother Niger alumni died at the age of 29 as a result of a dreadful car accident. Rico Swaby was involved in a ghastly motor accident on October 11, 2022. The news of the incident was conveyed via the social media by his fellow Big Brother housemate, Alex Onyujua. According to reports, he was badly injured and afterwards hospitalized due to the auto crash. All efforts to save his life proved abortive. Rico was confirmed dead on October 13, 2022. Rico began his career as an artist after graduating from Babcock University. Late Patrick Fakoya, better known by his screen name, Rico Swaby, was a legal practitioner, artist, and a social media influencer. Swaby became popular after he participated in the third season of the Big Brother Nigeria reality show titled Double Wahala. Before his death, he was one of the cast of the Nigerian television series titled Life 101. Former beauty queen Ibiduni Igodalo reportedly died of cardiac arrest on June 14, 2020, in Port River State. She passed away a month to her 40th birthday. Late Ibiduni Olajumoke Elizabeth Igodalo became famous at 18 when she emerged winner of the first edition of the Miss Lux Beauty Contest in 1998. The University of Lagos graduate was the founder of Ibiduni Igodalo Foundation which focuses on couples having infertility issues. The Oyo State Indigen was the Chief Executive Officer of Elizabeth Howe Event Management Company. The late Ibidunu was married to Pastor Itua Igodalo of the Trinity House Church. In an interview with Chud Gideonwo, Pastor Itua revealed that his late wife Ibidunu was a problem solver and extremely generous. During her lifetime, Ibidunu was a cheerful philanthropist who helped the needy. The late mother of two was mourned by notable and prominent individuals across Nigeria. Although Ibiduni Olajumoke Elizabeth Godalu died at the young age of 39, but she lived an impactful life. Legendary reggae superstar Majeko Dumi Fasheke, popularly known as Majek Fashek, died in a sleep on June 1, 2020 in New York City. The Nigerian singer, songwriter, and guitarist was renowned for hits like Send Down the Rain and So Long for Too Long. Majek Fashek was regarded as one of the pioneers of reggae music in Nigeria. Rainmaker, as fondly called, was an activist who fought society ills to his songs. He performed with legendary stars like Beyonce, Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, Tracy Chapman, and Jimmy Cliff. Majek Fashek's life was not void of challenges as a battled drug addiction for a long time before his death in 2020. Although he is no more, but his legacy lives on through his music. Daniel Leon Foster, professionally known as Dan Foster, died in 2020 after suffering complications from COVID-19. His death shook the entertainment industry and those who knew him personally. Dan Foster pioneered a new style of presenting on radio in Nigeria. He worked with numerous radio stations in America before moving to Nigeria in 2000, where he joined Cool FM. The Big Dog has finally called left Cool FM in September 2009 for Inspiration FM, then City FM. In May 2016, Dan Foster left City FM to join Classic FM, where he worked until his death in 2020. The Big Dog was a judge on the one-off Idols West African series alongside Dede Mabiaku and Abera Nana. He was also a judge on Nigeria's Got Talent alongside actress Ketensho and comedian Yibo Koko. Veteran trumpeter and high life musician Victor Abimbola Olaya died at 89 in February 2020 following an undisclosed illness while on admission at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital. The baby mother and taxi driver Puna was often referred to as the evil genius of high life. His style of music captured the art of many in the 50s and 60s. Dr. Victor Olaya was credited with contribution to the structure of Nigeria's music industry. Before his demise in February 12, 2020, Victor Olaya worked with a versatile and contemporary music icon, Innocent Uja Idibia, popularly known as Tubaba. The Nigeria movie industry, popularly known as Nollywood, was left to mourn on May 20, 2020, after Emilia Dike, the Nigerian actor died. 
the renowned actor reportedly slumped and died in Enugu State, Nigeria. Her death came as a shock to family, friends and colleagues in the entertainment industry. Emilia Adike was notable for movies like Dust of Yesterday, Ignorant Couples, Where Money Never Sleep, among others. The media industry was struck with tragedy when the sudden death of Tosin Buckner was announced. The media personality, Oluwa Tosin Buckner, passed away on November 19, 2018 at the age of 37 as a result of sickle cell anemia. Tosin Buckner, as he was popularly known, was found dead by a French husband when he arrived home from work. Buckner was a Nigerian writer, singer, radio and television host. Before her death, she worked with Top Radio, Echo FM, Cool FM and Inspiration FM. Area Mama and Area Boss has fondly called Van This Jeans Project to help people with sickle cell anemia. She was born with sickle cell anemia. This prompted her to start This Jeans Project. In November 2015, Tosin Bokno and Orillian Boya had their traditional wedding, surrounded by family and friends in Lagos, followed by a white wedding in France. Nigerian socialite and entertainment promoter Ola Ibiwonke, popularly known as Dudu Heritage, reportedly died in 2021 after he suddenly developed a heart attack. Dudu Heritage was married to the Nollywood actress Bimbo Oshin. Prominent movie maker Chiko Maziapone, popularly called Chiko Ejiro, died on December 25, 2020, as a result of complications arising from high blood pressure. Prior to his death, he held the record of the Nollywood director with the highest number of released movies. Chiko Ejiro produced and directed over 85 movies in his career in the span of three decades. Music producer, rapper and Nigerian singer Lota Naudezi, also known as Big Glow, died in 2020 after a long battle with kidney ailments. Olugbemiga Biodun, popularly known as DJ Olu, was found dead on October 7, 2018 in his car alongside his friend Chime Amechi. DJ Olu was a close associate and one of the official disc jockeys of HKN record label owned by the hip-hop musician David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido. DJ Olu was the son of Dapo Abiodun, the former governor of Ogun State and the owner of Aden Hoyle. Olu Bemega Abiodun was a 2016 graduate of the University of Essex, United Kingdom. Sadly, his life was cut short at 25. Osinachi is gone, but she'll never be forgotten. The Ekweme Kuna allegedly died as a result of domestic violence. Osinachi Uwanchuku was a famous Nigerian gospel singer, songwriter, and music minister whose angelic voice uplifted many souls. Sadly, the late mother of all died at the age of 42 on April 8, 2022.